Hey guys, jumping back into everything you need to know about baby metal. Um, the fox sign, learn that really fast. Um, all right, let's pick this back up where we left off and we are on Moa Metal. Um, a legend right here. All right, let's go. She was signed by a muse in 2007 after winning an audition held by the company. In 2010, Moa was placed in Sakura Gakuin, where she was a member of Mini Patty Cooking Club, donning the green bandana, Anna, Twinkle Stars Baton Club, and the Heavy Music Club, where she also took the role of scream and dance. Like Yui, Moa was chosen for her similar appearance and compatible voice. In her final year in SG, Moa was elected as the student council president, and then graduated in 2015 alongside Yui. Moa's most notable physical trait would be her dimples and glowing smile. If you are still trying to remember which member is which, and you're trying to find Moa, just look for the dimples, you can't miss them. Moa loves food, and she'll make sure you know it too, as she always finds a way to bring up food in interviews. What are you looking forward to on this tour of America? Hi, it's Moa has also developed an odd habit of staring at people's hair in interviews, especially Sue Metal. There are activities and also absorbing it up in the mosh pit. Moa is known to be a very emotional person and cries easily, but she also spreads love and positivity to everyone around her. <laughs> what do you think makes people love baby metal so much? You're asking me? I'm asking you. What do you think? <laughs> mm, I want to know myself. Yeah. But I love everyone and uh, I hope we can continue to get love and support. Moa can play the guitar a bit, but has admitted herself that she doesn't practice nearly as much as she probably should. She also loves to mess around and have fun during live shows, participating in all sorts of shenanigans on stage. Moa has also done a few special solo performances on birthday-related shows, such as performing a cover of Love Machine at the Legend 1999 show, playing the acoustic guitar part for Shine at the Legend M show. Hey, if you guys have this link, um, comment, I want to see this. Uh, I definitely got to see this, guys. Send me a link, please. Um, wow. Now you guys are telling me what a legend she is. Um, she looks like so much fun. Um, you know, you look at her, how can you not, you not love her? She's got such a positive vibe. Uh, she's so fun. Man, this band, you know, watching this um, documentary um, and learning about uh, baby metal is it, so cool, guys. There's so much to learn. There's so much to experience. There's so much music. Um, what an absolute joy, um, to do this. Um, it's just incredible. Uh, it's so much fun for me. I love doing documentaries and stuff like that. So it, it's just, I just feel guys, if you really like a band, then you should learn something about the band. You know what I mean? I mean, there are bands that you're going to hear, oh, that was a cool song, but you really don't, maybe you don't want to dive deep into their catalog of music or, you know, you just like that song, so you're not going to spend the time, but when you really like a band, um, like I love baby metal, it is just so worth it to learn about them, um, to be able to talk about them, to be like, oh, you know, that's Moa Metal, or, you know, whatever the case, whatever, whatever member you're talking about, um, this is awesome, but send me a link for this, I really want to see it and taking over the lead vocal role for Headbanger on several occasions. Like 
We also have the subunit of baby metal, known as black baby metal, which is when Yui Metal and Moa Metal perform songs as a duo without Sue Metal. Hi, it's Black Baby Metal. は Yui Metal and Moa Metal の二人のグループのことなんですけど、今回の新しいアルバムではラップメタルとかブラックメタルという新しいジャンルに挑戦して世直し活動しています。Just as Sue had her solo songs, there are four Black Baby Metal songs Anadari Daisaksan, Four No Yuta, GJ, and Sis Anger. Moa and Yui have been close friends for a long time, and they were often paired together in Sakura Gakuin due to their similar size and appearance. Some believe the black part refers to the picture stories played before their songs. In the stories, Yui Metal and Moa Metal are trapped and changed into wicked characters singing rap music. Others believe it is in reference to the genre black metal, which makes sense considering that black baby metal songs tend to be on the heavier side. Yui and Moa actually wrote For No You to themselves while on the tour bus between shows. The backup dancers you often see on stage with Yui and Moa during Black Baby Metal songs are also referred to as Sister Bones. Moa has performed Black Baby Metal songs on her own as a solo on several occasions, but that will be discussed more in a bit. Next, we have the. Alright, guys,、um, that's the next part.、Uh, I'm gonna go check out some of this other stuff.、Um, the Black Baby Metal. I wanna check out a couple of their videos.、Um, This is what I mean, guys. It's so much fun. You learn so much.、Um, and, it, and it seems like、uh, whether it's Baby Metal or Love Bites or Nemophila or 1 OK Rock or Band Made, you know, it's like all these little things lead to other bands. It's incredible.、Um, just incredible. All right, guys, we'll pick this back up tomorrow. I'll see you soon.